Hey guys, and welcome back to CanCode. Today, I'm going to be making another enemy, and I'm also going to be making lives for the enemies. Alright, so let's get into it. So to start, I'm going to make another enemy. So we'll go to Costumes on the Enemy tab, and I'll make another one. So I'll duplicate the fast one, and I'll make this one strong, because it'll be a slower one and a stronger one. So I'm going to make it bigger, because stronger things are bigger, right? And let's see if it... Yeah, it's about that big. Now, what color should it be? Uh, we'll make it red in the center. Maybe it could be like a red one, I guess. Like that? Alright, that looks kind of cool. Okay. Um, now, we will have this as a strong one. So, right now, we've set it to, in the last video, we set that there was a 30% chance that there will be a small one that will come, and a 70% chance that a normal one will come. Now let's change those odds a bit. Let's make a... Here, we can kind of figure it out. But to make this a little bit easier, instead of doing this weird stuff here, um, we're going to make a variable. We can delete this one. This variable is going to be called enem uh, enemy type. And we're going to be using this in the clones. So let's make sure that we check this for the sprite only. Now we're going to select OK. And now we have this variable. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the enemy type right here. Um, and we're going to set it to a random number from 1 to 10, we'll say. Now, we'll get rid of this, and we'll, we'll actually, we might use it. We don't know yet. So, we gotta just figure out, what percent chance should a small one come, a strong one come, and a normal one come? I think that there should be maybe a 60% chance that a normal one will come, and a 20% chance that either of the other ones will come. So, what we'll say, is we will say, if there is, if the enemy type which is from 1 to 10, is greater than, say, 3, maybe we'll do 4. If it's greater than 4, then it could be 1 to 6, and that is a 60% chance. And we will get rid of all this, and we will switch this to the normal. So the normal one will happen in this one. Now, if it's not that, then we will duplicate this, put this in the else statement, delete everything in here, and we'll say if the enemy type is, um, we'll say if it's greater than... 2, then it will be 4 or 3, um, because it's definitely not uh, that one. Okay, so we'll just go here and make it fast. So now the last one, if it's not any of those, it's going to be a strong one. So let's program the strong one. The strong one will have more lives than normal. So we'll have, so we're going to make lives. So we'll make enemy lives. Enemy lives. And this will be for the sprite only also. So now we will have... Uh, the enemy lives and the reason why we have it for the sprite only is because we're going to use it for the clones each clone now we want to have more lives so if the costume is strong then we're going to set the enemy lives to four um and if it is normal then we will set the enemy lives to two and if it is fast then we won't set any enemy lives because it's just going to be one now for this we will do the strong one so actually we'll do this for both of them if touching the bullet or touching edge we don't need to do touching edge for the big one because it's always going to be um, pointing towards the player which is actually something we need to change we need to put this pointing towards player inside um, a forever loop and we can delete this repeat so there we go so now if it's touching a bullet um, instead of deleting the clone we're actually just going to make the lives go down so change enemy lives by minus one. Um, but we do need to make it die eventually, and that's when it equals zero. So now we have to have an if statement afterwards. And say, or actually we can put it inside, because that'd be, uh, it doesn't really matter, but we'll say if the enemy lives is equal to zero, then we have to die, right? So we will just have this uh, die code here. So now let's duplicate this, all this code that makes the enemy lives go down, and we will trade that in for what we have in the normal enemy. So we'll get rid of this, add this in here, and let's see what happens. One, two, oh my goodness, those guys are fast. I have to change that for the big ones. Uh, they have to go slower than normal. So they're moving 10 steps, which is how fast that the fast ones are going, which is fine for the fast ones. The normal ones are going four steps. So let's make these ones go maybe three steps. And the normal ones we can pop up to maybe like five. Okay. So now let's try this again. 
These ones take one, two hits to die. One, two hits to die. One, two hits to die. One hit. One hit. One, two. One, two. And when will one of those big ones come? Okay. One, two, three, four. Boom. That works pretty well. Okay. Now we have that. So now we also want to see how many lives until they die. Uh, we can do this however we want. I think it would be cool to have a life bar above them, but it's actually quite hard, and I don't know if I can actually do it. I might be able to, at this point, uh, maybe in a later video I'll show you how to do that. But I think there's a pretty cool thing that we can do in the costumes. So I think what we can do is we can make a normal, and then we will make another normal. And then this normal one we'll do is we will have a half circle. So we'll copy, paste this, we'll put it on here, and then we're going to get this uh, point. We're going to select this thing where we can grab points of the circle. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to delete it. And these two here, I'm going to make pointed. So it makes a half circle here. Uh, this one needs to be a little bit wider out. Like that. And now that we have that, I want to make this half circle a little bit lighter. So we will make it um, like that. This one will also be lighter, like that. I also kind of want to get rid of the outline because I think that kind of looks a little bit weird. Um, it looks pretty weird without the outline too. Okay, uh, let's just put that in there. Okay, that looks okay, I guess. So now we have normal two. Uh, now what's going to happen is when it's at half lives, it's going to become, it's going to show that. Um, it's going to look like it's halfway dead. So. Um, we're going to go, so it's cost me to normal, and now it's going to change the enemy lives by minus one. And what it's going to do is it's going to go to the next costume, which in this case will be normal too. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, really what's going to happen is it's going to, it's going to get hit one, it's going to become this, and then it's going to get hit again, and this time it's going to die. But before it dies, it's going to switch to the fast costume, which is not what we want. So let's make it die before it switches. So now let's see what happens for the normal ones. These ones are probably going to come up pretty fast. There we go. One, two. There we go. Okay, well. So we can kind of know when they're at half lives and when they are not. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed with bad guys. Okay, so now let's do the same thing for the strong guy. Except for the strong guy, we're going to have it a little bit different because he has four lives. So we're going to make four quarters. Now we're going to do the same thing for the enemies. We're going to, now we're going to copy it over from the normal ones. Actually, you know, we don't even need to do that. We can just add next costume right here, right after the enemy lives test to see if it's dead. Okay, so let's see what happens. Boom! One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, that guy got in my way. Let's try that again. Make sure it's working. Okay. One, two, three, four. That looks pretty nice. I'm actually going to make that same kind of look on the normal ones because I think that looks really nice. So let's just go here. Go like that. We will make... Actually, we'll make this one here. Same color as normal. But this one we're just going to make really bright. That looks really nice, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, okay, there we go. That looks pretty nice. We are done for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Today we have a red background. Underneath this video, we have a button that is also red that you can click. It's the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye.